Hey guys, RPM here. Hope y'all doing well, having a really great day. In this video, I wanted to show you guys my memory temperatures in Hive OS natively. And that's because Hive OS has just enabled it. You don't have to do any fancy script. You know, you don't have to download anything. And just recently, March 31st, Hive OS has implemented the uh, improved NVIDIA MemTem reporting added memory temperature for GDDR6X fixed vendor detection for HBM2 memory. So that is now showing up in the Hive OS web GUI here. You guys can see here, <laughs> look at my 3080s. And so actually the rest of this video, I wanted to do the rest of my GDDR6X memory cards. Uh, some of the rigs, uh, they're mix matched, but I, I just wanted to show you the mem temps for my 3090s, my 3080s, my uh, maybe 37, no, 3070s will probably not work, but we're going to test it anyway. We're going to upgrade my rigs here as, uh, none of them have been updated, uh, since this new update, March 31st. So I'm, I'm excited to see, well, I'm actually not excited to see my mem temps. And, uh, actually I just wanted to show real quick my Radeon 7 rig. <laughs> I've been seeing the memory temps in here for a very long time, just to let you, you guys know, like AMD has already had this implemented for HBM2 quite a long time ago so uh, anyways let's just go along and uh, let's go ahead and update the first rig so i already did my 3080 non lhr rig you guys know this one's in a octominer uh case and look at that the, these mem temps are just horrible and i can't believe some of them at 110 that is 110 degrees celsius it's still doing 99 mega hash 100 mega hash 100 and uh, 100 100 degrees 106 degrees i gotta change the thermal pads on all of these and i will be doing that very soon gprisers.com has sent me a bunch of thermal pads i'm gonna be changing them also uh critical thermal pads as well critical pads uh they sent me a a, a kit for an asus tough 3080 so i'm gonna be trying that on one of these asus toughs actually all of them for sure they're really bad. And I did change the thermal pads on the Zotac 3080 non-LHR. And that is, I mean, it's a little bit better, 94, but it's still not great. But of course, you know, I, I want to make sure I have them at least under 100 to, uh, as we know, the Micron Micron on their website, they said GDR6, you want to have it operating, operating temp below 105 degrees Celsius, they said. 105, according to their website. So yeah, I, I, I hate seeing this. hundred. I hate seeing anything over 100. I'd rather have stuff, the memory temp below 100. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead. Let's update my RevTech rig. All right, so let's go to Hive OS here. It's, it's, been, it's been a while. I haven't updated this to the latest, so I, have, I don't see the mem temps. I have uh, two. Why does it? Yeah, Hive OS is weird. Why does it do that? Interesting. Uh, it like goes down when you try to upgrade. Anyways, I have a... I only have two... 3080 non-LHRs that have GDDR6X and uh, the rest of these cards are Samsung GDDR6 so 3060, 3060, 3070, 3070 uh, non-LHRs here so these two are actually non-LHRs surprisingly and you're probably looking at Red Panda 67, 71 mega hash those are not non-LHR and yes they are guys these are they're just extremely thermal throttled so when this comes back on we shall see when it starts mining we shall see what the temperature is here and yeah you know what as that's going let's go ahead and update another rig let's update my 3090 rig so i'm excited to see the mem temps for this and we've seen the mem temps before but uh upgrade there we go and that's gonna go i might as well we might as well just do it to the other ones real quick here's another 3080 non-lhr rig so let's do, you know what? I think we can do it from here instead. Yeah, we can do it from here instead. I think there's a little glitch with the web GUI when you click it on this part and then you can just go with this top part instead. There we go. So it's going to restart. Last rig here is 3070. These are not GDDR6X. So I don't think we're going to see any mem temps here anyway. I, natively and even in Windows, you can't see the mem temp. It's junction, memory junction temperature, I believe, for the 3070s and below, or GDDR6. Okay, so let's go back to the RevTech rig, and let's see if we see anything here. Did it update? Okay, just booted three seconds ago, and uh, let's go to my 3090 rig. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, my 3090 rig shows the memtep now. That's great. It's obviously idling. 64 degrees, 64 degrees Celsius. Now the 3080 non-LHR rig. Yeah, there we go. These ones updated as well. Let's go to my 3070s. I don't think this is going to... Yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, Radeon 7 rig is good. Okay, let's go back to the RevTech. And let's see. This RevTech board is... Uh, okay. All right, so RevTech is not working on my 3080 non-LHRs. Strange. Why is the mem temp not showing here? Interesting. Okay, now let's go to my 3090 rig then. We shall troubleshoot this in a second. Okay, these rigs are still, these are still coming back up. Everything's still coming back up. It's slow. All right, it's ramping up. They're ramping up. They're mining. Okay, 3080s. Just ramping up. 82 degrees Celsius. 84, 86, 86. 3090s. In an Octominer X12 Ultra, you guys know, uh, you guys can see the Octominer fans. Oh, it looks like I got a dead fan. That's not good. Um, okay, figure that out later. 120 mega hash, 92 degrees Celsius on a hot one here, but the rest of them, it's, it's climbing. Yeah, of course, it's just starting, so the mem temps are going to go up, but that is... I love seeing this number now. I can finally see if I should change the thermal pads on these. And let's go to the RevTech again. That's weird. Why doesn't the RevTech show? Hmm. Doesn't show the mem temp. So you know what? We're gonna we're gonna hive shell start. Actually, no. No. Let me let me let me figure it out. Actually, no. Let's just re do a restart here. Let's do a reboot. Maybe it's just glitched out or something. Okay. 3090s are okay. Let's go to the 3080 non-HRs. Woo, these are the EVGA for the win threes and 92 degrees Celsius. I mean, that's, yeah, that's better. I don't want to see them over 100, uh, but obviously it just started. So we're going to let that go a bit more. 3070s. Yeah, we're not going to see, we're not going to see the mem temps there. So that's, that's all well and good, but man. Okay. 110. Oh man, I'm just, okay. This one's throttling. Definitely, definitely throttling. 97 degree, 97 mega hash, 108. Yeah. Does anyone out there want to change my 3080 Asus Tough thermal pads? Let me know. Let me know. Uh, you guys can come over and change them for me. <laughs> it's, it's just such a pain. All right. These, these two GPUs are making, making me a liar. Hold on. So let me, let me go ahead and remote in. Okay, guys. So here we are. Look at this. It shows up in T-Rex Miner, 108 degrees Celsius, 110 on the 3080 non-LHRs. So these are, yeah, they're, thr they're definitely throttling for sure. I have to change the memory pads on both the front and back on the uh, MSI, I, be I believe it's a MSI Ventus uh, X3. And then the Gigabyte here is a gaming OC. So these two definitely, definitely need to be changed. And yeah, that's, that's really bad. That's, that's really bad. Obviously we don't see the memory temps on the 360s, 3070s, uh, cause they're GDDR6, but let's just end off with showing you guys my other cards here. So it's been running for, it's only been running for five minutes. So seven minutes now, I just refreshed it. So here we go. 3090s, GDDR6, 96 degrees, 92, 92, 92, 98, 94. So I'm gonna say three of them aren't that great but am I gonna open these up and change the thermal pads probably not I'm I'm happy that these are under 100 uh, I know EVGA normally has better thermal pads so I mean I, I this is fine I, I believe it's fine uh, some of you guys may not think it's fine but this is not fine looking at my 3080 non-LHR GPUs 106, 110, 108. Yeah, that has to change. But the next 3080 rig, which these are also EVGA for the win threes. Yeah, this has been running for about eight minutes now. Uh, 96, 94, 96, 94, 94, 94. So this is good. This is all well and good. This is totally fine, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, that's good. Now the next rig. Uh, oh, no, that's it. So there you go, guys. That's it. <laughs> 3070, 3090s, uh, 3080s, and I'm, I'm just confused on why my RevTech board 
the RevTech board, the RevTech rig, hanging rig, doesn't show the memtemp here, even though I updated to the latest version. So that is something we shall figure out another time. I'm wondering if it's a RevTech thing. Not quite sure, but you guys can let me know down below. All right, my friends, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.